first nigga with the hatchback. I'm a trendsetter. Trendsetter. Set the TV, and I'm your gracious host, Solo. And when you look at a headline like this, YouTube superstar KSI JJ says he made then lost millions investing in Bitcoin. This is what I call FUD, right? A FUD headline. Few uncertainty, doubt. Uh, uh, however, when you read the article, you realize, no, this is clickbait. This is actually KSI being bullish. Let's read and, and let me explain. By the way, KSI, uh, hands down, is one of my favorite YouTubers, period. YouTube superstar and rapper KSI, also known as JJ, has shared that he made millions of pounds investing in Bitcoin and lost it all when the market crashed. Nothing less. He still believes that Bitcoin is the future and eventually you're going to get a hundred thousand Bitcoin, 500,000 Bitcoin and a million Bitcoin. It's going to happen. Well, yeah, because Bitcoin, whenever it crashes, it then goes back up, but then it, it supersedes its previous all time high. And I mean, this is fact. This is fact. KSI shares ex experiences in Bitcoin. Okay. So he talks about, he was asked about a rumor of him putting a lot of money into Bitcoin. KSI then revealed that he invested 2 million pounds, which is about 2.75 million in BTC around November or December last year, but later lost the money when the market crashed. He says, yeah, I put in 2 million into Bitcoin. Well, I said Bitcoin, but this was in cryptocurrencies. I made 7 million pounds and now I've lost it all. I got lucky with the 7 million pounds, but I should have been smart and taken that money out into fiat and just wait for everything to drop and go back into it again. He admitted that he got carried away with the bull market. Exactly. And this is why it's so important that if you get into the market, one of the mistakes I did in 2017 is I thought, okay, well, it's going to go up to like 40 or 50,000, right? And you have to have a strategy. Now, everybody's strategy is going to be different, but when I say a strategy, you got to do, you know, take profits out. Now, my strategy usually is I try to take out minimum the, the investment that I put in so that way that I can at least take that money out and then whatever happens afterwards, you know, we'll see. KSI added, it's been a full journey, but I had to experience it. I had to really delve into the whole crypto space and, you know, I fully understand that now. I put money in things where I essentially leverage myself and I kind of over leverage myself to a point where I lost money because I got liquidated. So I put a lot of, lot of money into something and I got liquidated because of the Bitcoin crash. Exactly. What happens is, and you're going to see this happen uh, in 2021 um, when this runs up again. And I, I, I believe that we're still in a correction and I'll explain more in a moment. But you're going to see a lot of people over leverage themselves and you're going to see a lot of people become greedy. OK, this happened in 2017. This probably also happened in 2015 or 2016 and 2013. When you start to see your portfolio just go up tens of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars or even millions. Right. You become greedy and there comes a point where you can put money into any coin even a crappy coin and you'll see a pump and you think you're a genius. Commenting on losing millions of dollars investing in cryptocurrencies, the YouTube star said, I was like, okay, well, big whoop, elaborating. It is what it is. I'll move on. There's no point crying over spilled milk. And I realized during the bear market is when you want to invest in things. Oh my gosh. I got to give it up for KSI. And there's a reason why KSI is one of the most successful YouTubers on the platform because he has good business sense. Exactly. And that's something that uh, took me probably about three years to learn. You do not make money in a bull run. You make money in a bear market or during a, a correction like this. Now, I know people are wondering how that doesn't make sense. It makes perfect sense. Think about it. When the coins at their lowest, you can buy more than you could at a bull run, can't you? So what I'm saying is this. If you are trying to buy Ethereum when it was four thousand three hundred ninety one dollars and twenty nine cents, isn't it smarter to buy Ethereum now when it's eighteen seventy nine twenty two? It's smarter to buy it now because it's lower and you can get more bang for your buck. 
Now, me personally, I'm not telling you what to do. This is not financial advice, but I'm dollar cost averaging on ETH. Uh, love me some ETH. Also dollar cost averaging on XRP and of course other coins like SHIB and Theta is 428 now. You know, I, I thought I was happy when I got into Theta at seven, eight, nine dollars, but now 428 is a steal. And some of these prices, you're never gonna see these prices again. After 2022, mark my words, people I might come back next year and watch this video and they're gonna cry because they're gonna be like, whoa, uh, this solo guy was right. I mean, you can't get Ethereum now below maybe 10 grand. You can't get Bitcoin now below 70 grand, you know? But once again, I'm, I'm thinking ahead. You gotta be a, a bit of a futurist when you look at crypto. He was also asked whether investing in Bitcoin was like gambling. He replied, no, I don't think it is. I don't think it's gambling. It's not gambling. No, no, no. Bitcoin is here to stay. It is the future. It's just that no one wants to accept it. Same with Ethereum. Yes, of course, it all fluctuates, but it's going up. KSI elaborated, if you stand back and look at the whole picture, it's slowly going up and eventually you're going to get a 100,000 Bitcoin, a, a 500,000 Bitcoin and a million Bitcoin. It's going to happen. KSI is smart, guys. KSI gets it because right now you're looking at mass adoption happening. Wasn't there just recently a commercial of Spike Lee um, talking about cryptocurrency ATMs and these cryptocurrency ATMs are popping up everywhere. Shout out to my cousin who lives in San Diego. He took a picture of a cryptocurrency ATM in the middle of the beach, in the middle of Coronado Beach, I believe, in San Diego. Guys, this is not going away. It's not going away. The famed rapper said, maybe it might take five, 10, 15, 20 years, but it's going to happen. You've got to remember, Bitcoin doesn't have inflation. That's what's so great about it. It's not controlled by a centralized bank. So KSI gets it. And I'm glad that KSI did his research. I mean, from the article headline, it would have you believe that KSI hates Bitcoin and now he's broken out. I mean, look at the picture. Uh, like he's like looks like a great value version of Travis Scott. And no, no, no. KSI went through what a lot of people went through, Gra what I went through. Granted, KSI put in a lot way more money in, but what I'm saying is you realize that when you start to see cryptos go up, it is important to take profits, okay? Very important. And when you see crypto down, as KSI said, it's in a bear market where you make your money. That's where you can fill your bags, okay? now. I don't believe we're in a bear market. I still believe that we're in a, a cap capitulation or consolidation phase, accumulation phase where, you know, uh, everybody's accumulating. I mean, there's been news coming out of institutions buying Ethereum by the boatload, buying Bitcoin by the boatload. And the reality is this, a lot of people next year, mark my words and come back to this video. If not, I'll give anybody a thousand dollars if I'm wrong. Um, okay, not anybody a thousand dollars, but I'll probably do a giveaway. But a lot of people next year are gonna be that know about crypto now and didn't get into it. They're gonna be very bitter. They're gonna be very bitter, and because of the fact that if you look at these prices now, you're never gonna see them next year ever again. And it, it reminds me of 2017 when I go back now and watch older videos that I used to do or other content creators used to do. We thought that Bitcoin in 2017 at $3,000 was high. <laughs> we thought it was high then. Now, fast forward four years later, it's at $31,000, okay? Four years, th four years ago, it was a steal. Right now, it's a steal in itself because it's gonna keep going up. Now, when you look at this, an analyst says that this correction is similar to the 2013 correction. And basically, that uh, correction was where it, it took 431 days after the third halving um, for it to go back up. Uh, one more week stuck in the drawdown, 95 days since the last all-time high bottom. So what, what basically it's saying is, is that it's very similar to a previous correction. And I know a lot of people are saying, well, 
uh, TA doesn't matter because this is a different market. Yeah, but there are patterns still. And the reality is, is that with the London Hart Fork coming for Ethereum, I'm expecting crypto to go up here within the next week, week and a half. And that'll be the telling sign because the London Hart Fork is at in August the 4th. And the next bull run, guys, is going to be a violent bull run. And you're going to see crazy massive FOMO come in. You're going to see the fear of missing out where people are just going to jump in because they're going to see Bitcoin go up and a lot of wealth is going to be made. Now, I do think that there'll be another correction, uh, another sharp correction, maybe in a, in a couple months. And then you're going to see in 2022, a little or towards the end of 2021, a run up and um, and whatnot. And then you're going to see a lot of people becoming multimillionaires and billionaires. Now, only time will tell. Um, you know, I like making these videos because time goes by fast, right? Six months from now, who knows where we will be at. But one thing is for sure, uh, cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Ethereum, they're not going anywhere, right? Then they're, they're just not. Anyway, my name is Solo. Um, if you want to learn more about cryptocurrency, uh, check out my Trendsetter cryptocurrency course, right? Right now, we have a 20% off special when you use the code alpha, um, you get 20% off. And in the course, it, it shows you how to research cryptocurrency, the history of cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency terminology, how to read, understand a white paper, the how to research it, um, how to create a paper wallet, how to exchange cryptocurrency, trace a wallet setup, Nano Ledger S wallet set up, set, set up bonus interviews, with my millionaire mentor shout out to ian Bellina. interview with a 25 year old crypto millionaire five common cryptocurrency scams to protect yourself of 10 things i would do if i became a crypto millionaire right now let me say that again 10 things i would do if i became a crypto millionaire right now okay um but guys don't miss out don't miss out it, it pains me to see so many people ignore this and there are signs everywhere right i mean you you have countries like El Salvador just announced that they're going to be in crypto and uh, Paraguay, uh, I, know, I don't know if I'm mispronouncing it, they're getting into crypto as well. I mean, it's everywhere and people are just ignoring it uh, because they're worried about big booty Keisha. Anyway, with that being said, it's your boy Jones and I'm out. Peace. Down the Marco, Marco.